Many of you out there have heard of the famous Tony Williams lick. Some people call it the blush there. Some people call it the gablurge. I think they both sound kind of stupid and I hate saying both of them. But you've seen Steve Smith demonstrate it. You may have seen Todd Suckerman demonstrate it. Um, this video is for those of y'all out there that have been having difficulty executing this lick because it's a pretty tough one to, to, to pull off mainly because of the sticking. So, for those of y'all that have been having trouble with it, I got you. I'm going to simplify it for you. I'm going to show you how I play it. It sounds exactly the same, but it's twice as easy to play. So if you're anything like me, you heard this lick for the first time, and you thought, this is the coolest thing I've ever heard in my whole life, and i got to learn how to do this. So that's what it was like for me. I heard Steve Smith do it, and I thought, this is, this is really, really cool. So the thing that I really like about this lick is that it's very much a technical drum riff, but uh, there's a lot of muscle in it. But it's not a caveman lick. You know what I mean? This is very much a drummer's drummer's lick. So for those of you guys that have been practicing this um, at home, you may have discovered that it's a fairly difficult thing to pull off at higher tempos. And the thing that makes this particular leg difficult is the double in the middle. So essentially all it is is a Swiss triplet. It's a Swiss triplet with a double in the middle. So there's a flam on the front and then a double in the middle. So starting with just right, right, left, which is the basic sticking, Flam on the front, and the the, uh, the double in the middle. All right. Now, if I'm playing something slower, like a twelve-bar blues or whatever, I can plug that in anywhere, and it'll sound great. But with faster tempos, that double makes it a little bit challenging. So here's what I did, man, and here's what you can do. The thing that I discovered when I was watching all these guys play it is that you can't hear the double at all. The double gets completely buried and lit. So I just tossed it. I don't even play it. What I did was I just get rid of the double, replace it with a tap, and I can play it at any tempo I want. It's way easier to play. The visual is exactly the same, and the lick sounds exactly the same. So basically, I go from that. To this. That's it. Replace the double. Nobody's going to hear it anyway. Just replace it with a tap. Tap, 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 tap. Play that little ghost tap on the snare or whatever. Dude, it's going to sound exactly the same as the original lit. And it's twice as easy to play. Especially when you get to those faster tempos. Um, <clears throat> the reason why that's a lot easier is because when you generally when you're playing this lick, you're going from tom to snare to tom to snare. Like that's what makes it what it is. And playing the tap is just way easier than trying to get those clean doubles in there at those those higher tempos. So that's all I do, man. I've been playing it like this for years, and I still get people turning around giving me the nod of approval, like that's the coolest friggin' thing they've ever heard in their whole life. So let me show you what it sounds like on the kit.